we're going to check the carburetor needle valve. This carburetor came from Subaru twin cylinder engine. Let's take a cover off. Here we go. And here's our uh, float. It's plastic. And over here we have our needle valve and a seat. And that valve, when float is up, should seal against the seat and not allow any liquid fuel enter it our carburetor and as a result our intake manifold i just keep this intake attached to show you if you have too much fuel you will get into the very rich condition and liquid fuel will get into the combustion chamber and it was messed up your engine operation and your engine might not even start or won't run okay let's get started for the test we need a hand vacuum pump here's a vacuum pump and let's attach the pump to the carburetor fuel intake here we go this one is on the top make sure it's sealed properly if you have to use the hose clamp can do it but this hose is sealing pretty good okay now we have a small tiny damper spring which works also as a hook to this tongue and connects this valve to the float and we don't want to apply any pressure to the needle valve we want to just uh, keep it how it will be when fuel will fill the float bulb we don't want to apply any force to the float and as you can see here there's a needle valve and it only goes to the certain point and then it rests and this float can go a little bit further down and what it's for when your engine rattles machine shakes that's just a dampening that vibration and not allowing that valve to shake and worn out prematurely okay we have this spring resting no pressure it just sits like that and we're going to pump it should hold the vacuum see i'm pumping let's go to 15 inch mercury there we go we're at 15 and it should hold see it's holding if you have any leaks just grab a soapy water you can spray make sure it's not leaking no nope. we don't have any and as you can see needle valve and the seat they sealed and it's holding the pressure not a pressure it's holding vacuum as you can see we're holding a vacuum 16 inch mercury vacuum and that's what you want to see you don't want to leak if needle valve is worn out corroded gunked up or seat is rusted corroded and dirty won't seal properly okay as you can see it's holding and uh, let's just lift the, our float it will imitate that new fresh fuel coming in and I love the fuel get inside the bulb and you can hear the sound here we go and we're at zero let's do one more time pump 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 and I just this is upside down right okay let's lift here we go good that means your needle and a float they work as it should simple video easy to check and if it's helpful thumbs up and i have more carburetor videos how to clean the needle valve and the seed how to do those jets and more and more and more all those carburetor tune-ups okay guys thank you so much more interesting information down in the description check it out and yeah bye bye